you speak to me, speak to my heart. Don't speak to my mind because there's so much going on inside of my mind. It's so clouded and dark at times. I don't want to hear another word said to me. I wrestle with decisions and principalities and confusion that sometimes I don't even want to think because there's just too much going on in my head. It's full of directives. It's full of prognosis. It's full of diagnosis. I've heard so many things, different things said to me that I don't even want to think at times. So when you speak to me, speak to my heart. We know now that more women die from heart disease each year than they do from cancer. Um, there's a lot of research that is going into cancer for cancer research, we know that. And there is even more now beginning to go into research for heart disease for women. Classic symptoms in heart disease, everybody knows the chest pain, I feel pressure, feels like an elephant is sitting on my chest. That might not be so true in women. Sometimes you have just upset stomach, have profuse sweating, may have arm pain, that's kind of a classic symptom too, left arm pain, but it might not actually be. You might just be extremely fatigued when you're trying to walk from your car to a building. I'm just so tired. A woman is so exquisitely designed that she's like a beautiful show of fireworks. She crackles and sparkles and illuminates the blackness of the night sky. And with each new burst and bang of life, she immerses herself in the colors of passion, power, joy, and love. But in all her glory and marvelous splendor, something's missing. There are a lot of people, a lot of people, especially women out there, that they want something. They don't know necessarily what it is. Well, I was already in a, in a not a good state physically, uh, being diabetic and, you know, that starting to cause other health problems. And I was asking God to do something because I felt like I had done everything I knew to do. I don't know, I was just like, like I was struggling. I was reading The Rocket and I saw an article that they had done on Victor. So I got up the guts and finally called him. And when I called him, it's like something in me broke. I just knew this is it. This is what I'm supposed to do. Not just for my physical health, but for my mental health, for my spiritual health, to help me become the person I really believe God wants me to be. The reason why I started working out when I first started working out actually was when I was in college, <laughs> actually. Everybody around me was doing it, something to do. Somebody at the gym asked me to teach a class. And I was like, um, okay, well, my motivation wasn't the class. My motivation was actually the money and the extra credit. <laughs> From that, I found that I love working out. It's a great place to be energized. It's a great place to relieve stress. It's also a great place to work on you, find things that you like or you don't like about yourself. It became really, really personal the day my son, who's now 15 and was two, ran across the parking lot and I was too big to catch him. And he could have been hit by a car um, someone could have snatched him and the fear of not being able to breathe um, was enough for me to say, okay, I have to do something. Especially women, women are, we're, we're very timid to, the, the gym can be very, very intimidating. There are a lot of men in heavy weights and it just doesn't seem like something that we can participate in. But as we're getting older, um, our bodies change more quickly than men. We, we want to live longer. Motivation, I feel, for whatever you're doing in your fitness world or whatever you're doing for your physical should be yourself. I think females have the hardest job in the world. As a female, you tend to give all your time and energy to everyone else, but you neglect to to save that energy for yourself so that you can make, make time for fitness. Over the years, women have done a lot of things to take care of their spouses, their children, and other members of the family, but not so much themselves. Some of the things that I do, um, I'm a certified holistic healing and health counselor. 
um, in my business is Finding Remedies. So I help women, and my clientele is mostly women, to be able to move past um, emotional things that occur in their lives. 95% of all diseases is because of stress, and for women, heart disease is number one. Sometimes we're so bogged down with our life that when we're not working and taking care of the kids and taking care of family, we want to lay down. We want to lay down. That's it. We want to lay down. So what I would encourage someone to do is seek out someone. It doesn't have to be a personal trainer. Seek out someone that's going to lead you to where you want to be, not only physically, but spiritually. We can change our diet, we can eat healthier, we can also um, exercise, recommend it five times a week, you know, 30 minutes a day, at least 100, my, my thing is 150 minutes a week, so however you get that. So I encourage women to work out, to do something. I challenge them to do something every day, no matter if it's walk to your mailbox, something that you don't normally do for 30 minutes a day. Physically, women need to take care of whatever it is that they eat, make very good healthy choices in the foods that they eat. A lot of water, fruits and vegetables as much as possible, smaller meals, eating on smaller plates, go out to restaurants, don't take a to-go box home. If you didn't eat it there, you don't need to take it with you. So that you can be a better you, so that you can be a better you for other people, for all the people's lives that you, you touch. Seeing as a result of doing this that I didn't expect is that the kids, I work in youth ministry, and some of the kids that have watched um, this progress and seeing how my body has started to change, it has started to inspire some of them. It's not easy. It's not easy. And don't think about it as a workout, but think about it as, I am making a better me physically. We're really saying, hey, you know, we're coming from behind the scenes and really finding out heart disease is the number one killer of women. Yes, I mean, it's, it's worth it. Each and every day that you sweat is helping me really, really become the best that God wants me to be. Acoustic rhythms are the melodies of life. She is the mother, the daughter, the aunt, the grandmother who's given birth to life.